as the fighting in the Democratic Republic of Congo between the M23 rebels and the DRC armed forces, thousands of people continue to be displaced. But it is not just the locals. Once an area is captured, the soldiers also run away abandoning their guns and ammunition. At Chengero inside the DRC, one of the residents approached the rebels and took us where they saw an abandoned gun. Lying under the fairly thick shrubs, a new motor gun was discovered. It is just one gun out of many that are still lying in the civilian neighborhoods. But it is just about six kilometers from here to the Ugandan border with DRC in Bunagana. Therefore, it causes a security threat to the country. It's an issue of concern for us, but what can we do? As you can see, such bullets which are left anywhere are likely to land in the hands of the civilians and it will take time to completely weed out such kind of ammunition from the locals. The children here are used to the bullets and they find no problem with sorting them. There are fears that if these bullets land in the hands of wrong elements, they are likely to cause insecurity. One by one, the locals are bringing their abandoned guns to us. We, have, we are monitoring the border very closely, uh, both in terms of uh, at the level of intelligence and at the level of uh, even physical presence to ensure that nobody indeed exploits that virtue. Critics say that the major remedy for all this is ending the conflict that is continuing to escalate as rebels continue to capture more towns from the government soldiers en route to Goma the main town in eastern Congo. On Tuesday, heads of state from 10 Great Lakes region will meet President Museveni as they forge a way to resolve the Congo conflict, for which the international community blames the Kigali government. The issue of building capacity of the Congolese armed forces is of, of, uh, of a priority to the region. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.